where we're gonna have interviews with people like the person who gives us food and everything like that and two art persons, um, an editor, a, uh, someone who's with us sitting out there right now. Um, I hope so. We can do all of that. Um, and I really hope we can give you pictures of arts that Mano is going to do and stuff he's going to do. And yeah, so that's just telling you what the show is going to be about. And yeah, so this is called Art or Craft. Yeah, so you are going to do a masterpiece of art. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, I'm not going to do the art uh, design today. I have my grandchildren, I'm babysitting today. So in order to keep the peace and have things flowing well for the day, so we don't get any headaches, I have <clears throat> me, given some chores, uh, some not chores, but things for the grandchildren to do. Um, our grandson, Maxim, will be the photographer today, and he will be interviewing the people here. My husband, Earl, we have somebody outside that's helping out with the lawn, so he will be interviewing Carl, or filming Carl as he whippersnips. And Aunt Mano has a friend coming, which is her cousin, and Maxim's cousin. And they will be doing some crafts, and I'm sure our photographer, Maxim, We'll be doing some interviews with the girls. Thank you. Thank you. Soon we'll be 30 years old. Our songs have been sold. We've traveled around the world and we still Hi. Hi. Um, can you tell us how you feel of putting your art in museums and do you really trust the museum to not just steal your art and say bad reviews about them? Yes, I do because um, I want to write that if, you're, if you put your art in the museum and they say bad stuff about it, um, they would have to take you would have to take the bad stuff out and they would have to either put stuff or pay me to get the painting out. So, yeah. And right now I'm doing a cake made out of a can. Um, I'm just using cardboard we and little people stuff. I heard your grandmother was a fine, fine artist. Was it her who taught you how to make little, big, big, massive masterpiece of arts and crafts? Uh, actually, it was, yes, it was her. She showed me how to make So, uh, are you expecting uh, one of your cousins who's going to come help you? And are you going to do a big masterpiece together? Like, a big, big one well, together? Well, sometimes we make little ones by ourselves, but I'm going to make a big one. I'm not really sure yet. But, right now I'm just making other little sprinkles or stuff that I can put on there. So... I am going to take some pictures later of you mm -hmm. with all your arts and crafts and big stuff. And how about Suffy? How how much you and Suffy been partners to do arts and crafts? And how long did you do arts and crafts for? We were partners to do other things for other stuff, which was fun. And then we decided, well, we love to do arts and crafts stuff, so we could do an arts and craft team. And yeah, sometimes I just do it by myself or she does it by herself. She has done a lot of paintings, like, and she has it in her rooms. Like she did a Voix de la Mer, which was a play that my dad was in and we went to go watch. Yeah, so that's all we have time for today about your arts and crafts. And we're going to talk maybe about more what you do else of arts and crafts into the next um, interview. So bye. Bye. Hey, this is our first interview with Mana and Don Trima. Come on in, Mana. Yay! Well, Mana has an art she's going to bring. Yes. So. 
I made this art and it is a basically a cake. I just took cardboard and put it on that. This is paper that I colored. Those are just little heart shaped things. This is supposed to be a cherry. Um, those are little sprinkles I drew on. And it's just made out of this little tin thing and the cardboard that I put on the top. There's nothing really in there, but I had to take it around. Okay, Mana, you can sit down on that seat right there. Mana, you know we're going to take pictures and all that. Are you excited that all your art is actually going to be in the museum? Yes, I'm excited because I have a couple of art things that was in the museum, but maybe one or two. But not that much, and I'm very excited that it's going to be in the museum, and I'm going to have photos of it, and a lot of you are going to be able to see it. So, yeah, um, you know... We're going to take a lot of pictures, like yes. I already took pictures of that cake right there. And so, yeah, let's get on to the interview. Do you want to do first the interview about your, do you want to talk first about your arts and crafts or like what, what you do in your life and stuff like that? Well, I would like to start with my life. Okay. So, um, um how was, old are you? I am 23. Okay. And do you have any siblings? Uh, yes, I have a brother and a sister. I have a twin brother and an older sister. Um, and when I was little... Their name are? Oh, my brother's name is Maxim. And my sister's name is Milen. And when I was little, uh, I used to do little crafts. And I used to draw and stuff like that. And, yeah. So, yeah, did... I don't know if I'm asking this, but what do your smile look like? Because you always smile. Do you always do, like, different smiles? Cause why do you always smile? Because I don't know. I don't know. Every, I don't think anyone would like your photo like this. Of me, like, or a video of me like this. So, I don't know, I just smile because I'm happy that this is going to be in the museum. And, yeah, I just, so, arts. Yeah, what do you do else of arts and crafts? Uh, I do, I teach dance, um, like dance lessons to younger children. Um, I, um, I, well, I do dance. I used to dance when I was little, like, dance lessons, like I do teach now. So, yeah, we're going to be right back in two a second. This is another interview with Suffy. Come on in, Suffy. Suffy, you can take a seat right down right there. So, Suffy, do you want to start with your life or with arts and crafts? Arts and crafts. Okay. How, like, how long did you been interested in arts and crafts? A long time, about 10 years or something. Hmm, that's a lot. In, yeah, so, yeah. So we're gonna do after we're gonna do stuff later, and like we're gonna do arts and crafts after this art okay. interview. But Sophie, so what? do do you like do you say at people before you do arts and crafts, or is it just like a surprise? Sometimes I say, and sometimes I just make them crafts. Because sometimes, yeah, I just do crafts. So yeah. So, so yeah, Sophie, how do you feel like by putting your arts and stuff in the museum? Oh, I feel pretty good because I like everyone that they get to see all of my arts. Are you nervous sometimes when you like everybody can see in the world your arts and crafts? No, because I think that I did a good job, so I don't really care what other people think about it. 
So, Sophie, are you gonna? Do you want I take pictures about your arts and crafts and put in newspapers and on the web if you want to? Okay, I'll do it. And Sophie, that's all we got time for this interview. So let's see you later. So, girls, what are you doing today? I'm so, talking well, first to Mana. Right now, I am doing this. Uh, um, it's supposed to be a lollipop with like a lot of sprinkles and little hearts. Can you show me the craft? Um. And I'm just gonna. Yep. It's just. Yep, and yeah. And so. Oh, guys, so are you gonna put that one in the museum? Um, I don't think this is going to go in the museum, but my cake is so. So let's go on to Suffy. So I made this popsicle, and I think I'm gonna put this maybe. Wait, I'm like, I'm just zooming in, and to everybody see it. Can you? Uh, I think I'm maybe gonna like. Camera. I'm gonna maybe put this in the museum, like in a kid aisle, so they can like look up easy things, so they can like see. And I made you a tutorial yeah. of this online. And, and then now I'm making this little cup for jewelry. And me and Sophie are more very younger. So a cup for jewelry? I mean, I'm, I'm just... Jewelry, and I'm decorating okay. these little shimmery hearts. And this butterfly. And I'm just okay, I just wanted to know what you guys are doing. So. And me and Sophie were long, younger. We, were, we, were, okay. we did a lot of crafts. Bye. So we're back with Manos Life. A craft interview. Come on in, Mana. Woo! She so you can take a seat again. So, Mana, it's time talking about your craft. So let's um, just... Well, when I was younger, I used to play with these little beads. They're called pearly beads, and I love to do with little cupcakes and stuff like this. I made stuff like this. So I'm just gonna zoom into the. Can you get your hand off the cherry? It's sort of broken. Oh. Jelly, but there was a cherry, so it's a cherry on top. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, I was kind of like, that's kind of how I started. And then I started to make so, a craft. We already, like, so with Suffy, she's finally here, and yeah. So, and about your craft, we talked a lot about the craft the other in every video. But right now, I'm just going to talk a few questions, so you just... Just please give me like a little bit because we have to do this fast because we have to do it with Suffy and you yeah. two. So, yeah. So, about, yeah. So, you are going to do Masterpiece. Are you going to go into the craft competition with the professionals? Because I heard you and Suffy was invited. Oh, yes. Me and Suffy have been invited to, I think um, there's two, and craft. you can both do it in craft, like for one yeah, person craft, and teams. So and you can pick. Team, there's teams of two. Yeah. So it means we're probably gonna team if we go. And then, are you gonna do like one by yourself each, or no? Maybe I'm not sure, but when we were little, we did like little DIYs on our YouTube channel that we Ooh, did. You had a YouTube so, channel, yes, a little fancy. And then on Sweet Crisp, when we were like about ten to. 15 maybe okay something. and we had you and we did we actually did that's um, all a that. video on that about how to do um a craft um i don't remember what it was well i'll I think put it was a little kid you put we'll put the links down yes, below and it was that and we did it on our youtube channel but we were about like we were like 20 so it okay maybe like two years ago but bye, anyway, bye. we're back with Sophie's life interview so come on in Sophie. Yay! Woo! So a uh, first question how old are you? I'm 22, 22 and a half so yeah. And yeah so you are um gonna be telling you some stuff about your life so um um were you ex like how how old were you when you really, really knew you could do some crafts? Probably about 16. 60? 16, I'm not 16. Mm. <laughs> ha, and because how old young. were you when you started your first, first craft art? Probably about three. Okay. So, yeah, Sophie, we don't got a lot of time, so what do you do set 
arts and crafts. I do videos. Okay. On my YouTube channel. So yeah, sadly that's all we have time for this video. So bye. Now we're here for the interview with Mana and Suffy together. Give it up for them too. Yay! So yeah, so. one at a time. So how do you feel by working always with Mana, Suffy? Um, I feel really good because she's my best friend and first cousin. So yeah, and I feel really happy. And we're gonna show you later one of the clips of our funny videos. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. But that's so now, now I'm going to talk to Mana. Mana, how do you feel always being partners with Safi? Well, it's better to have a partner because then we'll have more ideas. Like each of us can have an idea. Yeah. And it's fine because, yeah. So now do you want to show your clip you have? Uh, yes. yes. It's yep. on my head. Zoom in. I'm gonna zoom in. It's hilarious, but it's not. Oh, there's no box. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Restart. Uh, sorry. <laughs> and if you keep watching, you'll see there's more funny clips. Hold on, there's more funny clips. Sorry, guys, who's watching? This is a little wiggly wobby today. So yeah, that's all we have no, time. So thank you, girls. And yeah, Any so bye. We're back for another interview with our editor. Woo! So, Hello. did you edit a lot of movies and stuff like that? Oh, I have. Yes, I have. Many, many, many movies. Uh, and I really like doing that. Most of them turned out to be pretty good. So, are you going to edit this show we did today? Absolutely. Yes, I will. How old were you when you edited it? The first one, me? Yep. When I first edited my first movie, it was probably when computers came out, which would have been in about 1984. So, gee, that's a long time ago. H how I... old are you right now? Now I'm uh, 67. Hmm. 
of an old turkey. So, are you just going to keep on editing till you think it's like... I think I will keep on editing until I'm smart enough to be able to do so. Okay. So, did you edit a lot of hard, hard, hard edit stuff? Like, mm, Most of the ones that I edited were, were movies that I took myself. Although, I do remember another person taking a movie. I, her name was, uh, I think she's called, in the movie business, she's called Miss Bannon. And is that Miss Bannon right there? Uh, yes, Miss Bannon. And there's also uh, a Christina Martin, I believe her name is. And is she right, is she right here? No, no, no. Uh, that Christina uh, is just a, a, a bit older than Miss Bannon. <laughs> okay. Hi, and today we're going to be um, interviewing the cameraman himself. Come on in, cameraman. Yay. You can sit in that chair. Yep. I'm finally here. Start on the interview. So. What do you, what is your favorite type of camera? Well, really, my camera, I only have, I have a lot, but I, I use, the one we're using right now is a really, really small camera, so it's good to like move around, you can put it in spaces, and it's, it's very, very useful. And it's what are those camera. headphones on your neck? Well, these headphones are used for... Um, I put the earphones on my head, and I can adjust the voice of everybody else, so I hear what the camera puts on here. So, these earphones right here, they're all fancy looking, so, like this is all fancy looking. And you do like this, and I can adjust the voice. So, look, you push button, they hear more for what the camera hears. And so, do you yeah. have other types of earphones or cameras? Well, this is my only earphone because it costs a lot of money. And I have big cameras, little cameras. I have cameras. You see, uh, there's a other little piece of land there we probably saw when we were doing that. And like right down there, it could zoom into that cleaner. Like that cat there, you could see what they're doing. So yeah. that's like my bestest camera. So it can zoom in. I can I can tell it zooming in. Yeah. <laughs> so, and do you like filming? Oh yes. It's like when I was little, I started filming um, my mom and Sophie's cute clips sometimes to help her mouth clean. And I um I did also a lot of other shows. And I could actually do trick shots, and they were really fast, so I had to move everything. Yep, and, and that's, and that's all the time we have right now. Thank you. Hi, we're back. This is part two of Cameraman, and this is his life. So come on in, Cameraman. I'm back here once again. So, the first question, how old are you? I am 27 years old. Yeah. <laughs> yes, 27 years old. Years, I'm sorry. That's okay. And do you do anything else except filming? Oh, yes. Um, Sometimes I go on my wheeler. I do a little stunts there and then. And yeah. I always do stuff like that. So. And what? Do you have any brothers or sisters? I have one younger sister. Well, actually two. I have one younger stepsister who's about right right now. She's like ten. No, she's like about uh, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And I have another one who's twenty-three or four. I, I can't remember. And I have a big, big sister who's like thirty-nine. Oh, okay. Um, yes, and. Is this your house? Well, 